Hello everyone and welcome to your Simpligon remeshing tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use the Simpligon toolset to remesh an object in Maya and then import it into Unreal Engine. We'll also show you how to use the Unreal Engine plugin as you can do all of this directly in Unreal. So quickly, what is remeshing? Remeshing is a method that can create a completely new mesh from one or more meshes. This is typically a lot more aggressive than the reduction processor, but relies on a new material being created. It's very performant and great for medium to long distance viewing. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a pile of rocks. This was the rock pile used at the end of the walk in the park video. This is a good example for the remeshing tool because these rocks are all unique, have different materials, and we want to create one object with one material that can be used for distant viewing. Currently, this mesh is at around 380,000 polygons. If we take a quick look at this asset from below, we can see that it's hollow here. And since this asset is going to be placed on the ground, we don't want Simpligon to generate an inside of this asset. And that's how the remesher works. It will always create a two manifold mesh or water type mesh. We can actually create a clipping plane to remove some of these polygons on the base that we won't see. I'm going to create a cube and I'm just going to scale it up and move it into a suitable location. Now I'm going to create a set for this cube. I'm going to create and then sets. And I'll just name this clipping, but it can be called whatever you like. Okay, great. Now it's time to set up Simpligon. I'm going to add an advanced remeshing pipeline. And the reason for advanced is that it allows us to use the clipping object, whereas basic doesn't have that function. If I open the remeshing settings, I'll leave the screen size setting to 300 pixels. This means we'll be creating a remeshing that's suitable to be used when the object's bounding box takes up 300 pixels of screen space. The distance this happens at depends on the size of the object, the rendered resolution and the camera's field of view. And then under Geometry Culling Settings, I'll click Use Clipping Geometry. And then in the drop-down, I can select our Clipping Cube set that we just created. In Output Material Settings, I'm just going to leave the texture size at 1024, but you could change this to your desired size. And then finally, for the Material Settings, I'm going to remove Transparency, Ambient, and I also don't need Incandescence or Translucency. So we just need Color, Normal and Specular. Great, let's go ahead and process this. Okay, that's now done. Let's have a quick look. As you can see, this is reduced quite heavily. It's now around 3000 polys as opposed to the 380,000 before. We've not generated an inside for the mesh. And overall, it's a good representation at a lot fewer polys. It's meant for viewing at this kind of distance. And if we have a quick look at the texture, we now have one texture containing everything from the original asset, which means it'll now be only one draw call. Okay, great. I think we're ready to bring this into the Unreal Engine. We'll also show you over there how you can do this process entirely inside Unreal. Okay, let's quickly go over importing the asset and then how we would do the same process we just did in the Unreal Engine Simply Gone plugin. We import the asset exactly the same way we would any other mesh. I'll drag and drop this onto the content browser and I'll set it to automatically create a material for me. And there we have it. If you place this next to the original asset, you can see the difference. Of course, the remeshing processor is meant to be viewed from medium to long range, so this kind of asset would most likely not be placed directly in a playable area, but a little further off into the distance. Okay, let's cover how we do this in the Unreal Engine Simply Gone plugin. I've got my source mesh here. All of these kit bashed rocks create one big pile. Our friend Polly is not included here, he's just the one for the ride. Much like the aggregation tutorial we did, and go check that out if you haven't already, I'm going to be using the clipping plane to slice off any geometry that's underneath the ground. I simply click on the Simply Gone plugin at the top and select Clipping Planes. Search for Clipping in the World Outliner reveals a gizmo created by the plugin. I can then move this over to my geometry to make sure it lines up with the floor geometry. I'll then go to Window, Stand in Outliner. With my rock pile selected, I'll then click Create to add it to the outliner. I'll then select it in the outline and go over to the details where I'll set the processor to FAR, which is for distant viewing. Great, let's tweak a few settings. It's basically the same settings we had available to us in Maya. For screen size, we left that at 300 in Maya, so I'll leave it at 300 here as well. Under Geometry Culling Settings, I'll make sure using clipping planes is checked. Finally, in the Material Settings, I'll leave this at 1024, which is what we used previously. There are, of course, loads more settings here that I recommend playing around with to get your desired results. 
I'll hit build. And there we have it. The stand-in outliner automatically swaps out the original assets for the reduced mesh. Thanks for watching. To recap, we explained what remeshing is and how it's useful for medium to long distance viewing. We then showed you how to reduce a collection of meshes down using this processor both in Maya and in Unreal. We hope you enjoyed watching and as always please visit simplygon.com for more information.